Hello everyone, welcome to my channel all about mechanical engineering. In today's video, we will discuss projection of lines. Before going ahead, make sure you have subscribed my channel so you won't miss any of the upcoming videos. The possible cases for projecting lines as we have seen in the previous video, there are four possible cases. Out of these, first case is already discussed and the link is provided in the description. Second case has been discussed with, along with the both sub cases possible. Today we will look case number three that is when the given line is parallel to one reference plane and inclined to another. Coming to case number three when the given line is parallel to one reference plane and inclined to another. Similar to case number two it also has two sub cases. A when the given line is inclined to HP and parallel to VP. Or subcase B when the given line is inclined to VP and parallel to HP. In this video, we will look at subcase A of case number 3. Let us take an example for better understanding. So, a question is given here stating a line CD is 75 mm long is placed in first quadrant such that it makes an angle of 45 degree with HP and parallel to VP. Also, its endpoint C is 10 mm above HP and 25 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections of the line when it is in first quadrant. Let's extract the given data first. Line is CD 75 mm long, that is a true length. Angle with HP is labeled as theta, so theta is 45 degree as per the given question, and the line is given parallel to VP. Point C and its both location that is front view and top view locations are given to us. So it is C is 10 mm above HP and 25 mm in front of VP. Also the line is mentioned in first quadrant that is it indicates both the endpoints C and D are in the same quadrant that is first quadrant. Now what is required to be found? What is the reduced top view length? Let's visualize the question. So we have this horizontal and vertical planes like this. We are looking from this direction. It is 25 mm in front of VP and it is 10 mm above HP. You have a point named C. The line which is mentioned is having an angle of 45 degree with HP in this manner and the true length is there. From C to D that is 75 mm. If you are going to project it and obtain a front view on the vertical plane, you will get C dash and D dash as the corresponding front view points and the line joining C dash D dash is the front view with the angle theta in front view. While projecting at top view on horizontal plane, we will get C and D as top view points and the line joining C D is the top view of the given line C D. Let's draw the actual two-dimensional solution now. Taking the XY line, drawing a vertical projector, taking 10 mm above C dash, then taking an angle theta that is 45 degrees in our case, measuring it horizontally from horizontal and in anticlockwise direction, drawing a line at 45 degrees taking 75 in the compass, keeping compass at C dash and cutting this arc. Naming it as D dash and making it dark, thick and visible. Then the top view point of C is 25 mm in front of VP. So as per first quadrant, the top view will be below XY line at a distance of 25 mm. Drawing another vertical projector from D dash because the corresponding top view point will be in the single vertical line, same vertical line. So the intersection of this vertical projector and this horizontal line is this. So you will be having this as corresponding top view point of D. Line joining C, D is the top view. So this is the required length of the top view. You can measure it directly from here and that will be the required answer. There are some points to be remembered from this 
solution as we can see here the line is given parallel to VP when the line is given parallel to VP the top view of the line is parallel to XY also when the given line is parallel to VP then its true length is seen in front view so we can see the true length in the front view here hope you have enjoyed the video thank you for watching